I think it's important to be held accountable because I feel as a small business, we have a very, sometimes a very small voice. From a tax break for businesses to savings at the pump, Nevada Governor Joe Lombardo presented his priority list Monday night during his first State of the State address. But a big question on the minds of many Nevadans, how realistic are his plans? Juani Romero says she walked into her coffee shop Tuesday morning feeling a bit more optimistic after listening to Nevada Governor Joe Lombardo's first State of the State address on Monday. I'm hoping that we could see some cost savings that could really help small businesses around town. The biggest takeaway for her, the governor wanting to give local businesses a 15% tax break. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the brewing stopped and her business shut down. 80% of her employees let go, costing her hundreds of thousands in revenue. Now, going into year three since the pandemic hit, she says she is on the road to recovery, but help is still needed. We have bitten the bullet, and as our margins have decreased, we haven't passed on to our customers. So this really offers some relief so that we can take on and do the work that's required. Keeping businesses like Romero's in mind, Governor Lombardo claims he will not only create a more business-friendly state. My fellow Nevadans, Let's get started. The governor has a wish list, a tax break for businesses, a gas tax cut, criminal justice reform, restoring faith in elections, and tackling water issues. But many are wondering what he actually can do. That's the key, that the governor is not a king, so the governor cannot, I mean, the governor can do some executive orders, but at the end of the day, you can't change a tax unless the legislature agrees with you. College of Southern Nevada history professor Sandra Cosgrove says the state of the state address is just a chance for the governor to share his priorities for the state. We have to also take into consideration that he's a Republican and the Democrats control both houses of the legislature. So he can't really get anything put into law without their help. <laughs> But for Romero, she hopes the governor will find a way to bring about change. She says the livelihood of her business depends on it. I think it's important to be held accountable because I feel as a small business, we have a very, sometimes a very small voice apart from our chambers that are protecting our best interests. And another topic touched on by Governor Lombardo in last night's address, Tesla's investment in our state's economy. The company announcing it plans to spend $3 billion on two new factories in Nevada. The facilities which produce battery cells that power its vehicles will add an additional 3,000 new jobs. This comes after the company invested over $6 billion in its first factory in 2014. That brought an additional 11,000 jobs.